Rod, it's already judgment night here in the Betway Premier League. Tonight there's three players fighting to stay in the competition. Simon Whitlock's already eliminated. Wes Newton, Dave Chisnell and Robert Thornton could face the drop. I guess the big game tonight is Wes Newton and Dave Chisnell. Wes knows that he has to get a result to stay in the game. Yeah, and I think it's going to be a funny game. I think both players are going to be very edgy. I mean, both players have been missing doubles as well, and that's what's put them in this position. We know that Chisnell is going to possibly outscore Newton, but he's getting this snatch in his throw. And if that comes in early part, that's where Wes has got to make hay while the sun's shining, or while it's raining here in Cardiff. I mean, he really has got to go hammer and tongs from the first dart. He's got to at least get the draw. If he does, like I said, then Thornton's got to get a result out of Taylor. But I think it's all down to Chisnell. I think with his scoring power, he should outscore Wes. But is he going to take them doubles? He's renowned for missing them. And Wes, he knows what the big stage is all about. He's been up here plenty of times. And he's got to take his chances when he gets them. Or otherwise, he's going to be relegated. Yeah, Wes was in this position last year on Judgment Night. That time he, he fell out of it. Do you think that experience could be crucial for him? Um, I, I don't think so. I really don't. I think uh, with, with a lot of dart players now, they just get up there. This is the moment. You know, it isn't what happened last week, last year. You've got to forget about that because you know, if you lose, the last thing you'll do is start remembering it. You know, you just got to you just got to forget it and get up here. So he's just got to get up here. Focus on this. Focus on this three darts. Don't worry about when he gets down to a double until he gets to the double, and then just stay focused. Take it out. Then play the next leg. A lot of players are thinking, oh, if I do this and I do that, I miss doubles. They're starting to ruin they're going before the start and I think this is where Chisnell's been a little bit out of sorts you know like I said scoring power brilliant but he's been missing doubles but it, I think it's going to be a game of missed doubles I think it's going to be very edgy um, probably maybe one of the biggest games playoff of them have played I know Chisnell in the Grand Prix in the final last year uh, against Taylor but certainly I think one of the biggest games of their career and depending on the result there, it's likely that Robert Thornton will have to get something out of his game with Phil Taylor. We've seen him beat Phil on the Premier League stage before we've seen him beat him in the UK Open final. Can he do it again tonight? He certainly can. I mean, Thornton uh, has probably got one of the best records against Phil Taylor over the last three or four years. I mean, when he beat him in the UK Open up there in Bolton, that was a great game of darts. He got in front of Phil and didn't let him up. He did to Taylor what Taylor normally does to other people. He's beaten him in the Premier League and... Three, four weeks ago, I think it was, he got out of the gate and had 122 le average after five legs. No one can cope with that, not even the great Taylor. So if he gets out of the gate, then, then he can get in front of Phil. And let's not forget, Phil's darts are not quite there. He keeps missing doubles at times. And if he can set in the early part of the game, as he did to Barnevelt last week, Thornton's got a chance. But by the time Thornton gets up here, he's going to know exactly what he's got to do. He could be relaxing because he knows he's not relegated. Or it could be a judgment, big judgment night for him. And just a final word, it's great for the competition as a whole that after eight, nine weeks of, of darts, it's coming down to two decisive games tonight. Well, I think whoever made it 10 people has, has uh, worked and certainly relegation has worked. So he needs a pat on the back. Um, I think the relegation part of it really gives it an edge because it got to... Uh, you know, middle to the end, where some people think, well, I can't do anything, I can't make the top four. But we've got this relegation. Then, after tonight, we can start talking about the top four. But tonight, it's all about the bottom. Winner!